Namaste. Welcome to the Ikim Yoga Standard Hatha Yoga class. We start with sun salutation. Inhale, exhale, bend back. If your neck hurts, please look forward, bring the head forward. Now, bending from your hips, stretching your body forward and going down. You may hold on to your ankles. Enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles. Place the hands on the floor. Take the left leg back, left knee on the ground. Make sure your right lower leg is perpendicular to the foot or the floor. That you should not be overexerting your knee. You may either lift your hands off from the ground or you may just place the palms on the floor. Now inhaling, come into downward dog. Tuck your chin in towards the chest and enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles, the arm muscles. Let's now bring the come into the plank position, bring the knees on the ground and chest and chin on the ground. If it is hard to bring the chest and chin on the ground, you may come and lay flat. Now slowly slide your body into Cobra Bhujangasan. Make sure the hands are off, uh, are not, you're not putting too much pressure on the hands. Enjoy the stretch in the upper back. Now tuck your toes in and come back into downward dog. Once again, tuck your chin in towards the chest and enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles, arm muscles. Slowly, bring your knees on the ground, bring the left foot forward, looking forward. Now you may bring your left leg directly from downward dog to the position it is in right now, or you may bring the knees on the floor and then bring your left foot forward. Slowly bring both the feet together. Once again, enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles and very slowly uncurl your body coming back to the starting position. Let's begin with round two. Again, inhale and then exhale, bend back. Continue to breathe in and breathe out, looking forward and then slowly bending from the hips, coming forward and going down. Enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles. Very slowly place your hands on the floor and take the right leg back. Right knee touches the ground, whereas the left leg is perpendicular to the floor. Very slowly come into downward dog, tuck your chin in towards the chest and enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles, arm muscles. Now come into plank position, bring the knees on the ground, chest and chin on the ground, belly does not touch the ground. Slowly inhale into simple cobra and enjoy the stretch in the upper back muscles. Now tuck your toes in and very gently come into downward dog. Enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles, arm muscles. Now bring the knees on the ground. Bring the right foot forward, looking forward. This is the most powerful position in the series. Let's visualize the sun giving us the energy to rejuvenate our body. And you're focusing at the point in between the eyebrows, the sixth chakra, the Agni chakra. Bring both the feet together now. Hand to foot, enjoy the stretch in the back muscles, in the leg muscles and then slowly uncurl your body, coming back to the starting position. Let's now get ready for the forward bending postures. Let's come lay on our back. Uh, let's bend the knees, hold on to the kneecaps, and rock your body side to side, gently massaging the back. You can even do a nice hip opener, keeping the feet together. Open up the hips a few times in one direction, a few times in the other. Let's begin our first posture, Pavan Muktasan, wrap your arms around the knees tightly, raise the head, become like a round ball. And as you breathe in and breathe out, contract and relax your anal sphincter muscles, or for women, do 10 kegels. This posture is good for digestion. And after a few breaths, you may release. Straighten your legs out. Let go of all your weight onto the floor and completely relax. Let's get ready for the next one, the bolt flow. This is good for your abdominal muscles. Take your one leg at 60 degree angle and the other foot is near the knee. Inhale and exhale, switching the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Now let's reduce the height by 20 degrees, so you are 40 degrees off the ground. And again continue, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Be aware of the stretch in the abdominal muscles. Now you're welcome to hold on to uh, place your hands under the lower back or just leave it as is outside. Another final position, 20 degrees off the ground. So from 60 to 40 to 20. And then do a set of 10 to 12 at each height and release and relax. Let's get ready for the next relaxing posture, which is windshield pose, uh, windshield wiper. In this, what you do is you place your arms over the head, 120 degrees angle, palms facing the um, ceiling, and gently bend, feet are about three to four feet apart, bend the right knee towards the left foot. The left leg stays steady, does not move. Now stretch the right arm, the right thigh, and enjoy the stretch in the right, on the right side. Now let's go for the opposite side. Take the left knee towards the right foot, stretch the left arm, the left side of your body, and the right side is completely relaxed. Focus on your diaphragmatic breathing. You may do it 10 times on each side. Okay, now let's get ready for the hip rotations. So place your hands underneath the lower back and rotate the right leg three times clockwise, three times counterclockwise. Breathe in, half circle, breathe out, the other half. And when you're done with one leg, at your own pace, move on to the other leg, three times clockwise, three times counterclockwise. And then slowly release your legs, release your arms, and relax. Let's now get ready for figure four stretching. In this, we take the right arm in line with the shoulder, then bend the right knee, hold on to the right kneecap very gently with your left hand, and move it all the way to the left side, and then look to the right. Enjoy the twist in the spine and the stretch in the shoulder region. Count 10 full breaths. You may close your eyes and enjoy being in this posture. Slowly release and let's very gently switch to the other side and count 10 breaths while you focus on the stretch in the back muscles and your shoulder region. Observe your breathing as you inhale, the lungs fill up, belly rises. As you exhale, the lungs empty, belly goes down. Okay, now slowly release. And let's get ready for the next one. We shall do Dronasana, bowl, balancing on your hips. Very gently come into a sitting position with your legs raised and your upper body raised. So you're like a bowl. Arms are parallel to the floor. And stay in this position for about 10 breaths. And enjoy the stretch in the abdominal muscles. If this is hard, you may turn if to, to your right side. And just slowly come into a sitting position. Bend your knees, place the, lift the feet off the floor, and then bring your arms parallel, and if possible, raise your legs. If not, just continue to keep the knees bent and hold on to the inner thigh. Again, 10 to 15 breaths, and then slowly release and relax. Let's get ready for Setu Bridge. Bend your knees. And you let's place the inner feet parallel and the inner thighs parallel. Slide your hips closer to the heels. Then lift your hips off the ground, interlace the fingers, place it underneath, and maneuver your shoulders, come up nice and high, and count 10 ujjayis, the breathing, where you inhale and exhale, making the ocean wave sound, and your glottis is partially locked. If You'd like, you may even hold on to your ankles. This is another variation. However, in this position, you feel it more in the, uh, the thighs and in the position where you have interlaced your fingers, you feel it more in the shoulder region. Okay, this posture is great for your thyroid, good for people with sciatic nerve pains, relieves pain in the back, and also increases the blood circulation in your head, neck, and shoulder region. 
let's try a variation where we shall hold the thigh region and then raise one leg up for five breaths enjoying the stretch in the back and then release that leg straighten the other leg and raise it for five breaths continue to breathe in and breathe out slowly release release your arms come lay flat on the floor and now we shall get ready to do a complementary posture half fish place your hands underneath the lower back and gently slide the top of the head onto the floor so you get a nice stretch in the neck region observe how your chest is expanded so there is more room for your lungs to open up and breathing is a lot easier slowly release and let's lay down for a few breaths and get ready to come on to our chest okay laying down on our back let's start with bhujangasana in this simple bhujangasana hands are by the side thumbs by the nipples place your forehead on the ground and then slide your nose chin on the ground coming up using your upper back muscles there is no weight on your hands count 10 full breaths while you enjoy the stretch in the upper back muscles your legs are completely relaxed slowly release and now let's get ready for the advanced cobra position in this we uh, join our hands like that place it near the body and without any jerky actions very simple slow control motion come up looking forward or slightly above do not uh, overexert your neck muscles and enjoy the stretch in your back all the back muscles if this is hard to do you may bring your arms forward but try to not bend the elbows or um, if you feel comfortable just bring the hands closer to the body this posture is great for people with diabetes because it energizes your pancreas gland it is highly recommended that people with diabetes do this every day for uh, 20 to 30 breaths but please do consult with your physician first let's release lay down on one side now let's get ready for salabhasana make gentle fists of your hands keep them underneath the groin region for support chin stays on the ground very slowly raise one leg up and observe the stretch in the lower back muscles count 10 full breaths make sure the fists are not touching each other they are slightly apart if the fists hurt, you're welcome to put a towel underneath. Release that leg, relax that leg. Now straighten the other leg and raise the other leg. Maintain it for 10 breaths while you're aware of the stretch in the lower back muscles. And then slowly release that leg. Now let's straighten both the legs and raise both the legs for 10 to 20 breaths while you enjoy the stretch in the lower back muscles. Remember, the chin stays on the ground throughout this posture, the locust or salabhasana. When you release, release your arms, turn your face to one side, relax. Let's get ready for the next one, Superman. In this, very slowly bring the chin on the ground, bring your legs together and gently raise your upper body and your legs. Arms are by the side, raised up a little higher, and count 10 breaths. You may keep it longer while you enjoy the stretch in all your back muscles. Observe as you inhale, the head rises. As you exhale, the head goes down. Your diaphragmatic breathing is causing this gentle rocking motion in the body. And then slowly release. Release your arms, turn your face to one side, and relax. Let's get ready for Dhanurasana, bow, bend your knees, hold on to the ankles and then slowly come up very gently, no jerky action. If you come up fast, you may sprain your uh, shoulders or the neck, so be very slow at coming up. And again, observe the uh, rocking motion caused in the body because of the breathing and enjoy the stretch in all your back muscles. Your face is relaxed, smile on your faces. And then slowly release release your arms now let's do a relaxing posture called makrasana crocodile place your hands on the shoulders and 
Make an arch of your back. Spread your legs wide apart. Bring the heels on the floor. And in this position, while you inhale, you contract and relax your anal sphincter muscles 10 times or you maintain a mula bandha, which is a root lock. Tighten your, your anal sphincter muscles, your groin muscles, 10 times. Either you do mula bandha or you do ashwini mudra, where you contract and relax your anal sphincter muscles. This posture relieves constipation and hemorrhoids. Now slowly release and let's come into a nice forward bend, the child pose. Okay, now let's get ready to do the spinal twist. Come into a sitting position. Let's begin by keeping the right leg straight. Take the left leg around the left foot around the right, the left foot is flat on the floor. Take your right arm, put it, tuck it again around the knee and make sure your hand, left arm is near the small of the back, closer to the back and try to keep your uh, left knee vertical by using your hand. Once you know it's vertical, you may release and relax your right arm. Let's maintain this for 10 to 15 breaths while we enjoy the stretch in the back. And then slowly release. Let's get ready for the opposite side. This posture energizes our kidneys, reproductive organs, our pancreas gland, our adrenal glands. Enjoy, close your eyes and enjoy the twist in the spine. Observe your diaphragmatic breathing. As you inhale, the lungs fill up, belly rises, ribcage expands slightly. As you exhale, the lungs empty, belly goes down, ribcage contracts back. Now let's slowly, after 10 to 20 breaths on each side, let's slowly release. And let's get ready for Kapotasana, which is the pigeon. In this, what you want to do is bring your uh, thigh in line with the mat. And then bring the lower leg perpendicular to the thigh if possible. Take your right leg all the way behind, kneecap on the ground right leg is relaxed and then take your time to get into this position you want to be careful when you're going into it now my hips are on the ground now slowly bring your arms forward get a nice stretch in the torso notice how the torso is in line with the thigh this posture is great hip opener uh, energizes your, strengthens your inner thigh muscles and is great for people with lower back pain relieve sciatic nerve pain also in this, we do 10 ujjayi, inhale and exhale, making the ocean wave sound. When you're done, let's move on to the other side. Take your time to get into the position and then slowly come forward, getting a nice stretch in the torso region. Let your head touch, forehead touch the floor. If not, if you cannot touch it, let the head just dangle in the final position and count 10 ujjayis. Inhale and exhale, making the ocean wave sound. Okay, let's get ready for the next posture. Uh, it's called Supta Vajrasan or the easy thunderbolt position. What I do is I use the towel to cushion my ankles because uh, they're too bony. Okay, now in this, what we do is we sit in Vajrasana heels apart and the toes touching each other but the toes are not overlapping your fingers are pointing towards your toes you may bend back in this position the elbows are not bent push the chest outward and get a nice stretch arch in the back count 10 breaths now if you feel this is very easy and long as your knees stay close together and close to the floor you may go to the next version on this where you bring the elbows on the ground and let the head rest on the uh, head, let the head rest at the back. There's a great arch in the back. Fantastic posture for people who have been sitting all day on the desk and the chair. And now to release, very gently come up. Release the Vajrasana position. Let's get ready for uh, the next one, which is a camel. In camel, what you do is, uh, let's uh, try to practice to come into the camel if you're doing it the first time. Here I cushion my knee joints. Ok, 
Okay, now you can first try to experiment to come up. So this is one position to experiment, to just push your body up. Let's try it a couple of times. Or you can also um, just hold on to the middle back, fingers touching each other, pointing towards each other, and just bend back. This posture energizes your liver, the largest organ in the body. Now let's get ready. Please give your feet some height. So bring the toes on the ground, hold on to the heels. This is the Uttarasana, camel posture, and bend back. Enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles, the back muscles. Now, if you want the final position, it's uh, holding on to the ankles and bending back. Again, count a few breaths and enjoy the stretch in the back. Now, let's do a complementary posture to this, the child pose. Actually, this is the baby pose when the arms are by the side. And you can go into child pose by extending the arms forward. Take a few relaxing breaths. Let's now let, get ready for the standing postures. Let's start with the first one, Rikshasana, tree posture. In this, you place your foot uh, in the inner thigh, or if it's hard, you may place it down or near the knee. And let's balance on one leg. Sometimes it, it's harder to balance on the mat, so you may get off the mat. Uh, to get more traction on your feet, you may come onto the floor and then raise your arms up nice and high as if someone were pulling your arms from above, elongating your torso region. Maintain it for 10 to 20 breaths and then slowly release and go to the other side. This posture is a good cooling posture for us. It, it actually is good for people with hot flashes going through postmenopause. And it is also good because it prevents dementia and Alzheimer's as we are learning to focus our mind. Let's get ready for the next balancing posture, Natrajasan, King Dancer or the Queen Dancer. And let's start. Uh, what's important is that you raise your leg and then bring your arm down and try to come parallel to the floor. Count 10 breaths. You may find a spot to focus at, look at your hands, or preferably find a spot on the floor to focus at. And then slowly release, and let's go for the other side. Switch over. You may hold on to your toes, or the inside of the ankle, or the outside of the ankle. Maintain it for 10 to 20 breaths and then slowly release and let's get ready for the next one which is the warrior uh, with a couple of variations. So let's start. Uh, bring your arm, uh, uh, spread your legs. Uh, one foot is in line with the body and then arms are parallel to the floor. Let's look towards the hand uh, which is near the knee that's bent. And uh, without moving the torso forward, you're just bending the knee, making sure the knee doesn't go past the 90 degrees because you don't, do not want to put too much pressure on your knee joint. Count five breaths. And then slowly take your right arm down. Take the left arm over the head, looking at the palm or the lower arm. Enjoy the stretch in the torso region. And count five to 10 breaths again and in this position. Then bring the thigh parallel to the floor. Again, making sure your knee doesn't go past the 90 degrees. Take the arm over the head, palm facing the floor, and count 10 breaths while you enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles and the torso region. Slowly come back to the center position. I should now switch around and face the camera so you can see uh, the posture from the front. So the same thing again, bending from your knee joint, not bringing the torso forward. The torso just stays still. Okay, the five breaths, smiling faces. And then let's take the left arm down this time and take the right arm over the head, looking at the lower arm of the hand. Count five to 10 breaths while you enjoy the stretch in the torso region. This is also a very cooling posture, so great for um, women going through hot flashes or post-menopause. Okay, and take the arm over the head, looking straight forward. The right arm is relaxed, left palm is facing the floor. 
count five to ten breaths and then release come back to the center position now slowly release and let's get ready for Banarasana monkey pose in this again what you want to do is be careful make sure the knee doesn't go past the 90 degrees this posture works on your thighs your leg muscles now raise your arms up high and look at the arms uh, at your hands if possible get a nice stretch in the back also so your arms are a little bit uh, behind count about 10 to 20 breaths in this posture and then let's slowly flip over to the other side now make sure your left look look at the left foot in my case and see how the heel is off the ground so the heels not on the ground otherwise you'll be putting a lot of pressure on your ankles okay again looking up you get a nice stretch in the back enjoy the stretch in the thigh muscles good balancing posture also and then slowly release let's uh, get ready for the final standing posture right now in our uh, for our standard class this one what we will do is uh, it's the squatting posture malasana you are sitting with your heels on the ground if it's hard to put the heels on the ground you may raise your heels that's fine garland now we place the hands on the floor and you're gonna slowly come up into standing position okay and come down all the way come up inhaling one way exhaling the other breathe in breathe out and if it is uh, hard you may continue to place if your knees are hurting or something then you may continue to place the hands on the floor and uh, come up and down or else you may even uh, just come up and down inhale and exhale and enjoy the squats Okay, now let's uh, come down in a laying down position for inverted postures. If you have, uh, uh, let's come up, come into half plow. Now, if you have high blood pressure, you want to avoid doing these postures. Okay, in this, your this is half plow. Hold on to your hip region and then gently bring your legs up uh, vertical. If uh, you would like, you may bring your legs perfectly vertical, but uh, sometimes it's hard on the elbow joints so in that case you just bring your legs a little bit forward at an angle and this is good enough this is Viprit Kurni maintain that for about 20 breaths and then let's go into plow where we touch the toes on the floor interlace your fingers place it at the crown of the head and enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles and the back now slowly come into shoulder stand or Sarvangasan holding on to your upper back this time so and thrusting your legs up vertically in the air this posture is fantastic. It's the queen of the postures, yoga postures. It's great for your thyroid region, for your thyroid. Uh, if you have hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, it energizes your thyroid. Uh, if you want to make it exciting to stay in this position, you may do uh, some uh, fun exercises while you're in shoulder stand. The scissor or the teapot. You know, when we're walking every day, we're sitting down, um, there isn't any exercise being done to our thyroid. But in this position, we are using our entire body weight to energize our thyroid. So it's extremely beneficial. I recommend doing this every day uh, for a few minutes. Also, this is called the pretty face posture because it's increasing the blood circulation in your face. So it uh, gets, gets rid of pimples, acne. Uh, increases the blood circulation in your head region, prevents premature graying of hair. To release full control, take your legs into half plow and then slowly release the legs and uh, relax. Now let's do a complementary posture. Let's uncurl the neck and very slowly bring the top of the head onto the floor. Enjoy this uncurling effect and maintain it for 10 to 12 breaths. If your neck hurts, if you have severe neck pain, pre please avoid doing this. And sometimes for people, uh, when you may lay down, let go of all your weight onto the floor. And now let's do the owl stretches. So look to the right, straight, and, uh, and then left and center. And breathe in and breathe out, relaxing those neck muscles. Sometimes people do experience uh, middle back or lower back pain after doing shoulder stand if they're new to it. In that case, you may flip over, come on your, um, uh, come into a forward bending child pose and relax in child pose for a few breaths. Okay. 
and after you relax in child pose, let's get ready for Shavasana, the corpse position, or Yoga Nidra. Laying on your back, feet are 10 to 18 inches apart, palms facing the sky, fingers gently curled. Find a comfortable position for your head. And let's start relaxing the body, starting uh, by letting go of all your thoughts. If thoughts come to your mind, let them pass. Just bring your attention back towards relaxing your body. Let's start by relaxing the feet. Relax the toes, the feet, the ankles, the heels. Relax your lower legs, knee joints, the thighs. Relax your hip joints and all the muscles in both the legs. Let's bring our attention to the arms and start relaxing the arms, starting with the fingers, palms, wrists. Relax the lower arms, elbow joints, upper arms. Relax your shoulder joints and all the muscles in both your arms. Slowly bring your awareness to the pelvic region and relax it. Relax the abdominal area, the chest region, and all the organs in your abdominal cavity and your thoracic cavity. Moving on to the back, relax the muscles in the entire back region. Relax your spinal column and relax your shoulders once again. Slowly bring your awareness to the neck region and relax the muscles of the neck all around. Moving on to the face, relax the chin, the cheeks, the jaws. Relax your lips, nose, ears, eyes. Relax your eyelids, eyebrows, the forehead, and all the muscles of the face. Let's bring our awareness to the head region. Relax the part that's on the floor, the crown of the head, and the entire skull region. And now gently bring your awareness to your breathing and obs observe the smooth and steady breathing. Observe your body in this relaxed and steady state and remind yourself that you have the power in your mind to bring your body into this calm state at any time during the day at your own convenience. Now to release, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes Make fists of your hands, keep them for a few seconds and release. Stretch your toes away from the body and release. Slowly turn on to your left side. Comfortably stay on your left side. Now very gently come into a sitting position. Let's grab our palms, make them nice and warm and place them on the eyes. Let the warmth flow from the palms into the eyes. And slowly open your eyes. Namaste and have a very good day. Thank you very much.